Hello loves and welcome back to another video here on Pumpkin and Gray or welcome if you're new here. Today's video is one that I love to film because I can only film it when I have a Salem trip coming up. So today I'm going to share what I am packing for my spring Salem trip that is coming up when I'm filming this in six days. I will film this for my summer trip and my fall and my winter trip so you get like a really wide range of what I wear for all different seasons because I am asked that a lot. And I will definitely be vlogging this trip as well. Hopefully it's at least a two-parter, if not three. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on that when it comes out. All right, I'm going to jump right in. I have quite the mix for this trip. We are going over Mother's Day and because it is spring, um, let me just start by saying with New England, you never know what the weather is going to be like. So even though a lot of this looks very springy and they are calling for 70s and sunny, I'm still bringing coats, I'm still bringing all the things. This will be like our 18th, 19th trip or something like that. I'm used to it. So always pack in layers. It's just the smartest thing to do, pack layers. But there's a wide range here between like very feminine pieces and then more spooky things. So I'm really just kind of combining the two. I'm very much in like my more feminine, vibes of life for this trip because it's Mother's Day and I had to have like a pretty dress for a brunch we're doing. So let's go ahead and start with what I am wearing on actual Mother's Day. Now this shocked even me because I do not wear pink ever. It's just probably my least favorite color in life, seriously. I have one other pink dress in my closet that I wore to the Good Witch one time and it's just, it's not my color at all. But when I saw this maxi, I was in love and I don't know why, but I thought Mother's Day. So let me share some of the details of this dress with you. First of all, we have these beautiful straps that are made out of this fabric that is like so delicate and gorgeous. And I will be self tanning before this trip, so it should look really good on like bronze skin. And then it has this little bust area here with the seam, which is super flattering because it kind of divides like your chest area from everything else. And the pattern is gorgeous. This floral, it actually has like a pink slip and then you get this little floral overlay. And I don't know if you can tell, but it has these almost like polka dots throughout. It's pink on pink, but it's there. And I just love it. And then at the very bottom, you get the same material that was on the sleeves all the way around in a circle around the bottom. And then it like fans out. It's so gorgeous. I got this from... I believe it was Red Dress Boutique. I will double check on that, but I'm almost positive. I also loved it because it's stretchy in the back. There's elastic back here. I feel like I have a larger chest and sometimes, I don't know, I'm on this weight loss journey, right? And now I can fit into mediums. So like this is a medium, but the chest is what worries me sometimes when I do get mediums now. And so I really look for dresses that have that give like instead of a zipper, if that makes sense, so that I don't have to worry, is it gonna go over the girls or not? So I am very excited to wear this. I got some brown and black sandals. We're going to a special Mother's Day brunch that we're being hosted for. I'm very excited. You'll see it on the vlog for sure. Okay, quickly going to share, you probably already saw my Timu haul, but I did get this cardigan from them. It has two jack-o'-lanterns on it and then this ghosty, not gonna spend a lot of time on it, because I've already shared it in that video, but I love it. It's gonna look so cute. I actually have on like a plain white bodysuit right now with this really pretty cardigan my mom gave me. Um, but you can kind of imagine just a very cute light and bright spring -oween vibe for this one. So I've been like my bodysuit era of life as I've been losing weight. I just love them so much. And I'm going, Mabel's coming in now if you hear a little pitter patter. I love wearing them as like a staple under everything. So I am gonna pack short sleeve and long sleeve versions because again, I don't know what I'm gonna need. And I'm definitely bringing the black, just plain black bodysuits in long sleeve and short. But I have an idea for this one. I thought on an evening or day, if it ends up being cooler, I could do the black bodysuit with these beautiful, amazing shorts that I have not been able to wear yet. These shorts are from Willow. Boutique, Willow, I feel like it's Willow something boutique. I will try to link them if you're interested. Let me know in the comments. They're from, oh, there we go. Willow Boutique, that is what it is. And this was a collaboration I did with Risen in Los Angeles. But the color I thought was perfect because again, neutrals, it reminds me of a fall color. It has this very raw hem at the bottom with all this like distressed, you know, material and look, which I love. The color is just so 
beautiful to me. It says it's mocha, but to me it's more of that like, if you're a Jaclyn Hill fan, you know she would describe that eyeshadow was like pukey brown. That's like what this is and I love it. It's such a good earth tone. Let me try to put the bodysuit in here so you can get like the whole vibe. This is not going to be easy for me to share, but there you go. You can kind of get it. So shorts, black bodysuit, such a beautiful, simple outfit. Basic colors, you can dress it up and down, you can wear a hat, you can wear combat boots, you could wear sandals, accessorize with all your spooky earrings and necklaces. I'm very excited for this one again. Just a great one to have on hand when you're traveling. I always bring more than I need. This is going to be a longer trip now. We added two days on. Um, so we're gonna be there Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, six nights. So I will probably bring like 10 outfits because I do like to change in the middle of the day sometimes. You know, like if you've been out and you're like sweaty, whatever, you wanna like refresh. Um, I obviously am working with the city again. So I shoot sponsor content, you get it. I like to change stuff. So I'm gonna bring a lot and then just kind of see. So something I really do like to do, I know I have to be flexible because the weather can change so quick in New England, but I do go into my notepad on my phone and I will make a list of the things that I know I'm doing each day and break it down into AM and PM and put what I think I'm gonna be wearing. It just helps my Virgo brain because I'm a planner. So let's say it's like Sunday, reds, witch picks, witch house, whatever, AM. And then I'll say PM, fins, pit bar, whatever it is. And I will just list what I think I'm going to wear so that when I get there, I kind of have an idea. And then if I have to shuffle them around, I will. All right, next is a shirt that I saw on Macari and I had to get so quickly. You already know I'm a huge Goosebumps fan. I have like the lime green sweatshirt that everyone got from Target. I have my black one with the jack-o'-lanterns, the cover of the book. Um, why am I blanking on the name of that one right now? I'm blanking on it. Anyways, everyone comments on that one when I wear it on here, everybody. And that was from Etsy. So when I saw this one on Macari, I had to get it because let me tell you what, when I was little, I used to swim in my Aunt Kathy's pool all the time. And I was one of those kids, like all of us 90s babes who just fully convinced myself there was a shark in the deep end. If I was in that pool alone with people right outside of it, I knew a shark was gonna come get me. I mean, that's just how anxiety and stress from the time I was a little kid. I just knew, okay? So when I first read this specific Goosebumps book, let me know if you already know which one it is, I loved it and it freaked me out. So when I saw the shirt, I had to get it. Look how good this is. The person on Macari who has this can do like any cover in any color. So I got this in a large so I can either tuck it in or tie it up. But look at the details of this. You got the pink goosebumps and then the actual cover of the novel with the hammerhead shark and the boy swimming. Oh my God, it is so creepy and so good. And the reason that I loved this, whoa, my color of my camera, that shirt just totally threw the color of all of that. We're back, okay. Anyways, the reason I love this so much is because we're going in the springtime, we're going in May. And I was like, perfect for summer, you know? I will get another one of these for my Halloween trip in October and get more of a Halloween cover. But this was just so good. I had to have it. I cannot wait to style this. I might do something as simple as just jeans with it tucked in in the front um, and a hat and some combat boots or sandals, or I have some other options. I am also bringing some floral skirts. I have shared this before, but I love like a horror tee with a feminine floral skirt. This one's just basic print all over, elastic waist. So I'll see what my mood is like. I know these look like they don't match perfectly and they don't, and that's what I love about it. I do this with horror tees all the time. You just tuck it in, pull a little bit out. It's like such a cute spring Halloween vibe. So, We'll see, you'll have to stay tuned for the vlog to see what I actually end up doing that day, but I am bringing this skirt with this shirt in mind. So we will see. Um, also, I know that some people like these types of videos where I show you the outfits like on me, but because I'm vlogging, I like to save that. I love watching what people are wearing in their vlogs, especially to sell them. So to see them fully styled, I'm like, you can watch the vlog. I'll go into details over there because I also don't know how I'm gonna accessorize and stuff until I'm there. You get it. But that shirt is so good. I'm so pumped to wear that. Okay, next I have a beautiful springy feminine yellow. It's very much so like a fall. It's pulling out much more like yellow yellow on camera. It is a true like golden 
yellow and I fell in love with this. I got it from Thread Up. So as you can see, I really have a wide range here. I'm like, Makari, Thread Up, dress up, bright dress boutique. I go from like very expensive to not. Um, somebody is texting me. Oh, it's Erin. Texting Sam and I. Hi, my loves. Casey, there you see this. Um, anyways, so I am so ready to wear this dress. It makes the girls look phenomenal. It's just one of those dresses that has that kind of flattering cut in the front. I did order like, I don't know what you would call them. Like, the, it's not like a, I guess it's like a sticky bra, but it's not like a full thing. It's just like a little bit. Um, and then the sleeves have this really pretty little scrunched up little detail there. And then the bottom of the dress is kind of like the pink one where it has this little hem going all the way around and then super flowy at the bottom. This is like my summer bohemian dream dress. It is just so good. I actually loved it with black strappy sandals that I bought, um, but you could totally do brown as well. I might do black hat, black sandals or maybe this hat, brown sandals. Again, we will see. I have tons of little fabric shorts, another little tip of mine. Um, I think I got like five of them from Shein before, but I think like Old Navy and stuff has them. I've had mine for years. They're very thin, just basic black fabric shorts. Same concept I do with Salem. You know, I'm not gonna let my five-year-old walking around in a dress without little thin shorts underneath, like fabric shorts. I do the same for myself so that when I'm like gallivanting on Essex and the wind blows, I don't have to worry because this is a very mini dress. Like on me, it's very short. Um, it's like you don't have to worry, right? You can dance around. I dance around in Salem a lot. Wind can blow, anything can happen, and you're covered. Your butt is under wraps, so. Highly recommend that. I just keep them in an area of one of my dresser drawers and I know when I'm going to Salem or wearing something short, I throw it on underneath. Um, you can't see them, you don't know they're there, but you're not wearing like bulky shorts. So anyways, I love this. Again, this one was thread up. It is so just light, so boho. I can't wait for that one. Okay, so if you saw my small shop haul, my spooky small shop video, I shared these tees I will link my girl shop in the description box. She sent this little one for Salem and then this big one for me. And it says, I have a crystal for that. I will share it again quickly in case you missed that video. I die over this. If you are new here, I love crystals. I cannot wait to wear this into a send with Salem matching. So she's got little black shorts to wear with this. And what I'm thinking I'm going to do, I have to see where this hits me. But I have this really cute, like, suspender looking dress. It's like scrunchy and elastic in the back, and then the front is normal. This is one of those ones that sits like below your chest. Now, my worry is you're not gonna see the for that. It'll just say, I have a crystal. So I don't know if this is gonna work with this. I'm like debating. I love how it looks under here. It's very cute to have like the black straps with it. But if it's bothering me too much that you don't see it, I might just literally tie it up loosely at the bottom and wear it with a pair of shorts. I'm actually going to Old Navy tonight to get some new jeans and shorts because I'm losing so much weight. I have nothing that fits me anymore. So that's exciting. I'm gonna go get some clothes that fit me. Um, but it's just so good. I'm really, really excited and I cannot wait to match my little Salem girl in Salem. Like, so cute. I can't wait. Maybe tonight I'll look for black shorts so that we can both literally be matching. You will definitely see that on the vlog and I'll be shooting photos of it. Maybe I'll do that. She would love it. Like she's so excited to match with me. So if I came out in black shorts and she was wearing black shorts, she would die over that. Okay, next I have another outfit that I actually wore for Easter and I put it together last minute, changed what I was wearing and then was like, I should take this to sale because I loved how it looked. So this is basically what I put together. I have a white bodysuit. Now this bodysuit, is a square neckline, which I would not wear with this. So I have a different bodysuit in mine, but it's dirty. So I did this just to show you. Um, the other one's just like a rounded neckline, but a white bodysuit with this really cute brown maxi spaghetti strap dress over it. I love this look. I love combining things like this. So comfortable. It's like a freaking tent. And I don't mean that in like a, it's too big on me thing. I mean like, it's just flowy. Like, Having a bloated day, an outfit like this is so good. So easy breezy, I'm obsessed. I'm really excited to take this. 
It actually has this beautiful design going down it, if you can see, with a little bit of like a sheen to it, which I think is really fun for spring because even though it's not like spring colors, obviously, it still has a little something to it. But very cute, loved it. I paired it with combat boots for Easter. Again, it'll go great with sandals. I'm really glad I just thought about this. I've had these clothes like in a separate section of the closet to film this and I need to make sure I get the right bodysuit because this will not work. So that was a good mental note for myself to make sure the other one is clean and hanging up with this. All right, next is this absolutely gorgeous maxi dress that I cannot remember which boutique I got it from. It was either red dress, I don't think it was. I will figure it out. I'll find it in my email, my confirmation email, and link it down below. But talk about perfect for Salem in the springtime. I shared this in like, I forget what the title of the video was, where I talked about how I keep like the spooky vibes alive all year, even if I don't dress like that. And one of my biggest tips was just to wear those types of colors. Wear autumn colors. This dress is gorgeous. Oh my God, I love it so much. The very bottom has this little print on it that's different. And then the rest of the dress is this absolutely stunning brown earth tone, burnt orange colored maxi. So flattering because of the cut at the front here. It's got the little hem. So again, girls look great. Waist looks great. I love this. I don't know when I'm wearing this yet. I don't even know if I'm wearing it on this trip. I'm bringing too many things, like I said. If I don't get to wear it on this trip, it'll be coming to my summer trip. It's getting worn in Salem at some point. But I really liked this one on, incredibly flattering. All right, and the last little combination that I put together here, one of the coolest things about losing weight is that I have a lot of things in my closet that I just haven't worn in a long time because it hasn't fit me. Um, and so I was actually going through the other day and getting rid of some stuff, and I found this jacket from Dress Up again. And I forgot how much I loved this and it fits so cute now. So it has these really oversized, like ballooned out sleeves. The color, gorgeous for spring and summer. This will be like an evening, need something to throw on type little cardigan jacket, jacket, if you will. Um, and I love it, like I loved it on me so much. And then under it, I have this really beautiful, again, from Willow Boutique. This is actually a bodysuit that I haven't worn yet tags are on and it's just a black bodysuit with all these little fun fringes on the front. So I thought pairing this with something like this jacket would just be so fun. So I'm actually gonna keep it like this. So I have it ready to go with some little denim shorts. I love this look, you know me, I'm like a cozy queen. Like I'll wear crazy stuff, especially in October, but I'm like, I wanna be comfortable and on this trip, we're taking the kids. So everything that I got like had to be realistic. I'm not wearing ball gowns, like not wearing high heels. I'm running after my five-year-old with my boys and I'm just like, I wanna feel secure. I wanna feel in, lifted, comfortable, you get it. So I'm really excited for these. Something else I'm doing for this trip, which I have never done before, is the Ziploc baggy trick. Now, can reuse the baggies, they're just for clean clothes before anybody comes for me. I got a box of the gallon Ziploc baggies and I am going to actually lay out the kids' clothing based on the day, which I've never done, but I've always wanted to. And I was like, this is the trip to do it. So the kids will have their own suitcase and basically each kid has a baggie for that day with everything they need in the Ziploc. So for example, it'll say like, sale Friday. When she opens it up, it'll have her shorts, her tank top, her little jacket she might need, underwear, socks, hair accessories. Same for both the boys. And because, because I feel like when we're on vacation, I'm trying to get ready. And then the kids, you know, are like, where's my shorts? That one's dirty. I can't find my clean shirt. What am I supposed to wear today? And I'm like, this is gonna make it so nice. Go into your suitcase, Wyatt, he's the oldest, find the three baggies that say Saturday, hand them out, everybody go get dressed. So I'll keep you posted on how that actually works, but in my head, it's genius and I'm really excited for it. I think Bits of Brie um, is the one that I first saw do this. I know a lot of people do it, but she always lays her clothes out. She'll do it for herself too. Um, I usually try to hang my stuff in the truck. I always hang it when the kids aren't there, but if we don't have room, I'm gonna do the same thing for me. So I think it'll really help minimize the chaos when we're trying to get out the door in the morning. All right, loves, that is going to wrap up this 
what I'm wearing in Salem video. Stay tuned for the vlogs. I cannot wait to share Salem in the springtime with you all. It is such a beautiful time of the year to go. Let me know what your favorite look was and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye.